Hey guys, I'm on a rant roll today. Here's another topic that I've been meaning to get at for quite some time. You, anybody that knows me has known that I buy and sell a lot of goddamn cars. I've had a lot of cars in my day, like over 500 cars at least. That's not even touching half of the ones I've actually had. Anyway, you know me and a lot of you guys are always on GG Marketplace waiting for that ne next deal. Well... Shitty thing is, there's no deals anymore. The The car buying market is just fucking stupid now. Cars that were $500 10 years ago are now 5000 And they're in way worse shape and they're not even worth fixing. Or even going to look at, for that matter. You see ads on there all the time now. Great little car. No papers. Driving home. $6,000. Well... If I was paying six thousand dollars or something, I kind of want to fucking have papers. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but kind of useless about papers. I know you go through the bullshit and all the lost forms and all that stuff, but that's just not worth it for some of these old cavaliers and shit. Anyway, another thing, you'd be sitting there reading up on a fucking car for sale. Ad sounds great, great working car. Uh, needs barely anything for a new safety inspection. Not currently safety inspected. Driven daily. Got to have $2,500. I know what I have. Yeah. Well, you have a car with no MVI. Not worth much, bud. Not worth much at all. Especially when the, it was a $500 Cavalier to begin with. Then you read another one. You're all interested in this car. It's bragging up everything. Especially them fucking old Ford F-250s and 350s and all them fucking big diesel trucks. You'll be reading up on them. Fuck, that's a sharp looking truck. You'll be reading it. Fuck new injector pumps, new fucking all this stuff. Then it gets down to the very end of the end. Well, this is a great truck. I really hate to see it go. But it's going to need a camshaft and lifters and possibly a transmission. That's after you've wasted 10 minutes of reading all about this truck. All these bully performance things on it and lift kits and tires. and Fuck's good of all that when you ain't got a fucking motor or transmission to pull it. Yeah, they still want 10 grand for it. Yes, sir. Worth 10 grand. All day long. Then you get a few of the other ones on there. Fucking you'd be scrolling down through. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Look at this old Buickle Sabre. Fucking 2000 Buickle Sabre. They can't want much for that. No. We want $5,000. We know what we have. No go ballers. Don't waste my time. Well, about 10 years ago, I, I, I know I bought fucking Buicks and fucking Sabres, all that. I'd, I I know I've paid $150 for them and drove them home from Halifax. I mean, I don't know, guys. It's really gone to hell. I don't know what people think to have these this day and age, but I don't know. And something else, too. You meet a lot of interesting people. A lot, a lot of people are very interesting to deal with. I remember one time I was buying a car way down, I don't even know where now. And I bought it, and I was backing out of the door yard, and this old fella come running out. He said, I forgot to give you something. I said, what's that? Here you go. Pass me your hands repair manual. I said, thank you very much, sir. He said, you're going to need it. <laughs> I mean, I love buying and selling cars, but right now is just not the time to be doing it, guys. I mean, I don't know how many times I refresh that marketplace page, that Kijiji page, hoping for the next deal, but the deals just aren't coming anymore. Not, nothing's coming anymore. I mean, you go over town now, box craft dinner's three fucking dollars. Christ almighty, it used to be one of the cheapest things you can buy to eat, bologna, fucking stuff like that. Honest to God, figure it there the other night, it'd probably be almost cheaper to eat out than it would be to go buy your food. Well, a pack of chicken's fucking $20, bucket of chicken's 25 cooked with fucking fries. I don't know. I don't know at all, guys. But fuck, man, bring the old car market back. I fucking love wheeling and dealing, but you don't want to wheel and deal with fucking 10, 15 grand on junk. Jesus Christ. And you know what the vehicles need before you even put on, even see them on there. You see these old Cavaliers on there. Needs brake lines. Needs wheel bearings. Needs this, that, and everything. $1,500. Fuck. I, these people got fucking... They need to be shook. I'm telling you, they need to be shook bad. And I'm telling you one thing, too. If you're in the buying and selling car business, you can't go wrong buying a Honda, Toyota... Any of those. They sell themselves. You you turn around and you go put a fucking, uh, let's say, a Chevy Equinox on there for sale. hundred Or 300,000 kilometers on it. First questions you're going to get. 
Has been dealer maintained? Has the oil changes been regular? Has it been undercoated? Blah, 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 blah. Can I have a Carfax lot? But it's a fucking $2,500 car. Do you really fucking think I'm going to go through the hassle of selling you a car for $2,500, paying to get a Carfax, knowing full well that car's probably been through the more fucking war? Like, it's $2,500, bucks, bud. This day and age, you're lucky it runs and fucking drives and has fucking papers for that kind of money. <laughs> anyway... I don't know, guys. It's getting pretty fucking sad, but what do you do? Honestly, you just got to go with the flow and fucking hope for the next deal. I mean, they're just not around anymore, guys. kind of sad, but I know I'm not the only one seeing it, but fuck, I just thought I'd mention it, bring it up, and fuck, go from there. Christ. Anyway, I mean, I I, I get a kick out of it. Some of these cars, even on there, I want $4,000 for it. Works great, great car, and it is. It's not a bad car, not a bad boy. But you gotta give me five thousand if you want papers, because I gotta go pay tax on it. <laughs> like fuck, bud. If you're gonna sell her, you're gonna put her in your name. Sometimes, anyway. <laughs> but fuck, guys. Like uh, I, I don't get it. Like if you're spending five thousand dollars on a vehicle, you want it to have a fucking inspection on it or something, or at least make something worth buying. Like I've seen cars on there that've been in a fucking field for ten fucking years. You can tell the grass growing right up around them. They still want fucking five thousand dollars or ten years ago you couldn't pay three hundred dollars to get rid of them. Anyway guys, that's my rant for the day of the old marketplace of Kijiji. I just keep refreshing guys and hope for the best. <laughs> Bye.